I'm here at the Tim Parry and Jonathan Ball Peace Centre in Warrington, a centre which was established in the wake of the Warrington bombings in 1993, and since then has provided unique support to victims of terrorism across Britain, obviously in relation to the Northern Ireland Troubles, but more recently in the wake of the Manchester Arena bombings, the Tunisia terrorist attacks, and of course the many terrorist attacks that we've experienced in London over the last few years. What the centre does here is recognise the unique trauma that is experienced by victims of terrorism and responds to that in reacting to the way that victims experience terrorist attacks and also the ripple effects throughout their communities and throughout society. But unfortunately the funding that underpins this service is now at threat because the government has withdrawn its funding and the security and future of this service is seriously at risk. In going around and talking to the people that deliver that service and hearing how dedicated they are to the victims of terrorism, it's clear that they're really frustrated and worried about the fact that a private individual has had to step in with charitable funding in order to secure the immediate future of this service. And it's also clear that the deep hurt and frustration, the awarding of a peerage to Claire Fox, a woman who defended the Warrington bombings and has repeatedly refused to apologise, is a double kick in the teeth victims of the Warrington bombings and the people of Warrington. What Boris Johnson has in his power is the ability to secure the future of this service for victims of terrorism across Britain and to block the appointment of Claire Fox to the House of Lords. I hope he comes back to Warrington and explains to the people of, uh, people of Warrington here, as well as to victims across Britain, that he's going to do that and if he continues to refuse to do so, exactly why he won't.